dick. Doo, doo, doo. Eat a bag of shit. Everyone, welcome back to Barnacle Bunch. We're playing my favorite video game. Sponge knob. Scare knob. Sponge knob square nuts. Battle for women's underwear. This is so- I am so happy to be playing this again because I have played through this entire game like 50 times as a kid. I haven't touched it in years, so I'm just hoping I still have like- I still have the memory for all this. Yeah. You know, like, 3D Spongebob games have always kind of looked weird to me. Yeah, I mean... It looks like, them. No, cause it looks like they just took the drawings and just pasted it onto 3D models. You know? I guess, yeah. And it's kind of, I kind of guess it kind of has its own charm because of that. I just don't, uh, I know it's ri it's something that, like, I've seen no one else talk about, but, uh, when a lot of cartoon games are ported over to 3D, they for some reason always have both of their eyelids half shut. Yelena's Patrick in, like, the upcoming cutscene just has his eyes, like, squinty the whole time and it looks kind of weird, but then, like, when his eyes are, like, fully open, it looks a lot better. The fa I remember the Family Guy games do that, and the models just always look really not as good with, like, the closed eyelids. Yeah. It's just, like, the smallest touch that just makes it look, like, way grimier. What a high IQ move. <laughs> Why do we- do we even have that lever? <laughs> I love the designs of the robots so much. Yeah. I just love robots with big clanky lower jaws. Yeah. That's why I love the TF2, like, engineer bot so much. Oh, you're right. The weird eyelids. Yeah. I remember the first- I remember, uh, when I was r really young, I just, like, knew Spongebob as, like, another little kid, like, baby show next to, like, Dora. But then in, like, grade two, uh, I'd gone to, like, a friend's place, and they had a Spongebob DVD, and it was, uh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3, the one with Man Ray. And like, oh, yeah. I watched like this whole like five episode box set and I was like laughing my goddamn ass off. And I was like, this is the, why have I been missing out on this show? And then like, it just became my entire childhood. Yeah, the, my favorite episode is probably the one where like Man Ray's like freed from like the fucking grease trap. Yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. I was just thinking was like, that, like that oh was, yeah. That was the first one I saw. It's on my wallet. <laughs> Yeah, but like, I feel like it's my favorite because it's like, yeah, villains, you know? And also it just like turns out that the villains are just like, just chill guys. They're just kind of assholes. Yeah. <laughs> They're just as goofy. I love the dirty bubbles so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, but the, my one complaint with the game, aside from the janky camera, is that they couldn't get Mr. Krabs' voice actor. They got the voice actors for literally everyone else, but the guy doing Mr. Krabs is just not... He's not given a good performance. Mm. Oh yeah, one of my favorite bits is you can just... News. Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Oh yeah, everyone thinks it's, uh, Spongebob who did this. What? Huh. Why Spongebob? How could he even make a robot? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh -oh. oh yeah, well it was because, uh, they... The little cutscene before was them basically saying, like, Man, I wish, like, our robots and, like, toys were real, because that would be way more fun. And then, like, they wake up the next morning after the wish, and it's like, Well, fuck, there's robots everywhere. <laughs> Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Yeah, you can come back to uh, the TV at like any, like after every uh, couple levels and we'll just say something new. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, one of my favorite parts. In order to show it off, they just fucking drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the pictures in this house. Yeah, I just love areas where you, like just games that you fully explore the main character's house. Oh, the movie game actually has this really cool feature where uh, the characters will like cheer in place after you kill the enemies in the area, and there and it uh, it moves into the running animations too. So they'll just like keep cheering without like breaking the flow of the gameplay. Oh, cool, rad! Oh yeah, like right off the bat there, there's a hidden uh, 
golden underpants, which just gives you like an extra life. Or an extra uh, HP. Yeah. I love how the health in this game is just underpants. Yeah. If you collect it with uh, Sandy too, she's even like, I can't blame wearing SpongeBob's underwear. <laughs> Look at that painting! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my the, my favorite thing to do in this game is to just break all of Squidward's shit and jump around like an idiot. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to look at like all his like pictures and photos. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Got a sock! Yeah, he collects socks for Patrick. Yeah, you just jump around like an idiot for a while until uh. <laughs> Imagine hitting someone that much. I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. <laughs> you just get one for annoying Squidward. <laughs> it's just so stiff looking. <laughs> Stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off the I'm scared. Spork! <laughs> and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Let's watch SpongeBob after this. <laughs> yes. One thing I do love about the game is the dialogue, though. Yeah. This is goo. All, yeah, all the levels are based off, uh, like, one-off episodes from the game. Yeah. Like, they have, a. Uh, like after this, it's like Downtown Bikini Bottom, uh, Goo Lagoon, uh, The Mermelair, uh, Rock Bottom, and uh, the big fucking skiing sand slope. Uh, the best, the best level though, like near the end, is uh, is Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. The music is rad as hell. Hammer. Hammer. Also, yeah, I love how every enemy has their own introduction cutscene. Yeah. I love enemy introduction cutscenes. Like, regardless if they're, like, funny or, like, dark and serious, I, like, just like- I love the fish models, guy. too. Look at him go. That's just a reverse mermaid. <laughs> they're all reverse mermaids. Yeah, true. Uh, I kind of want to talk about the, uh, point-click game, uh, fucking, I can't remember what it's called. It's, like, Employee of the year or something. Oh. Where it's like the plot is is that so uh SpongeBob gets like employee of the year and like Mr. Krabs uh gives him like tickets to go to like an amusement park. I don't remember what it's called. Uh but the ticket Glove like World? No. Damn it. I don't think at least. It's been a while since I last played it. Oh no. And I love the hand! It's the hand! Oh, the movie game has, a uh, uh, something really fun in the movie game is that, uh, there's hidden, like, treasure chests all through the level, and the more, and every time you get one, you can basically unlock, uh, you basically unlock, like, little cheats and, like, bonus extra stuff. Most of it change, like, uh, some of them will change, like, Spongebob and Patrick's, uh, character models with costumes, and they have, like, different idle and run animations. Oh, that's, that's cool! Like, you know, like, the Whoa. first one you can get is the, uh, like, Mermaid Man Spongebob outfits, and he'll just, like, run, he'll do the, uh, Superman run. Heh. <laughs> is this the one where one of the skins is, uh, just a hyper-realistic sponge? Yeah, it's the last one. Yeah! <laughs> it's, he it has no animations, it's just a hyper-realistic sponge. Uh, so the, the cool thing about, uh, the point and click game is that you go to places other than Bikini Bottom too. Oh. Ooh. So so you go to uh fucking Yeah, you go to Rock Bottom. Yeah. You go to uh like you go to like the outs like outskirts of like the area. You yeah. go to like a hippie shop. It's like really cool. Oh wow, nice. I'm actually interested now. Yeah. Also, real quick, I forgot one thing I forgot to mention. 
Aside from Mr. Krabs' voice actor, they couldn't get Mermaid Man's either end well. Oh. <laughs> I'm old? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, oh my God. then must... I like how they just panned Patrick. Touching your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Time to slide on your tongue? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah! That must be the worst feeling, though. Uh, so one of the later levels, too, is uh, Spongebob's Dream. In which you get to uh, go to like the dreams of all the other characters, Ooh. and uh, Sandy's is like this huge. Uh, it's like this huge sliding segment, like this, cool. but it's it's all filled with like uh, like America colored like paths, roads, Texas imagery, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's like twenty minutes long with like thirty different winding paths on it. Holy wow. shit! It is so fucking cool. What's everyone's favorite SpongeBob character? Uh, I can't decide, honestly. I'd probably say either Squidward or Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I really like Squidward. But mainly, especially in the, uh, mainly like Mr. Krabs in all the early episodes. He's like the worst character later on. Yeah. Just I like money, and that's it. <laughs> but I mean, he does like money. Well, it's more that he just becomes like a criminal character who. Has no who gets almost no repercussions for his actions. Oh, uh, yeah. And like he is shown to like legit not care about SpongeBob or Squidward in the slightest. Yeah. Well, of course, SpongeBob. I also hate uh, new Squidward because he does nothing wrong. He's just kind of grouchy, and Squ SpongeBob and Patrick just annoy the hell out of him. Yeah. That's why. Uh. That's why all those episodes were. Referred to as uh, Squidward torture porns. Yeah. And now for the best attack in the game. Yay. Yeah. I just love the sound it makes so much. <laughs> oh yeah, I like his Elvis uh <laughs> belly flop attack. Yeah. He pulls himself up with his hand from his head. Oh yeah, the, my favorite NPC. Look at just him. Just guy. He's dancing. He's rootin' tootin', partner. 